Welcome to another video from Everlast Refiner. In this video we'll discuss how the Everlast Refiner bypass oil filter system actually works, how it maintains the condition and cleanliness of motor oil and protects engine bearings from wear. So what is a bypass oil filter? Well, simply put, a bypass oil filter is an upgrade to the conventional full flow spin-on oil filter system that comes standard with your engine. We call it an upgrade because it does a finer job of filtering the oil and also dehydrates the oil by virtue of a thermal dehydrator and supplies a continuous, perfectly clean, usable flow of oil to your oil pan all the time that your engine is running. We call it a bypass system because it's not in line with the full flow oil system. It's on a side circuit, a separate circuit, which takes a small amount of oil off away from the engine through the filter dehydrator and then through a separate tube returns it to the oil pan. Next we'll discuss particulate filtration and uh, micronic levels of oil filtration. Now it's, it's important to understand the relative size of a micron, and especially in relation to a, a 30 micron particle. The standard full flow oil system that comes with your engine when it's delivered from the factory is, is set up to filter down to a level of about 30 microns. Now it's, it's common knowledge that any solid particulate between 1.5 and 10 microns has the potential to cause engine wear and internal friction in the engine, heat, etc. None of these are good things for your engine. One of the advantages of a bypass oil filter system is that it removes any particles below 2 microns almost to a submicronic level which eliminates these wear particles that are in suspension in your oil. Next I'm going to show you some examples of engine bearing wear that's due to particulate contamination. Bypass oil filter systems are designed to eliminate this kind of wear and protect your engine from these kind of defects. The first example we're going to look at is oil starvation. As you can see from the illustration, the bearing surface is streaked and smeared uh, with the worst damage at the center and some heat discoloration. This is due to a blockage or a partial blockage of oil flow to the, uh, to the bearing surface. The next example I'm going to show you is bearing wiping. Uh, as you can see from the illustration, the bearing surface is smeared and scratched and torn. Uh, the bearing metal is melted and re-solidified along the edges. Typically, this kind of damage is caused by oil starvation from particulate contamination accumulating in the oil passages and starving the bearing of oil flow. The next example is scoring. As you can see from the illustration, the bearing surface is deeply scratched and torn. Uh, this condition is caused by excessive foreign particle contamination and is completely preventable. Okay, and now the last example of uh, engine bearing wear that's related to particulate contamination is called dirt embedment. Basically what it really is is, is a uh, solid par particle uh, of whatever it is, carbon, dirt, uh, silicon, uh, gets embedded in one of the surfaces of the bearing and causes wear. Uh, typical examples of this are the bearing surface is speckled, darkened, and uh, has light and heavy scratching. Um, obviously the reasons for this are uh, foreign particulate contamination. Uh, it could be due to a faulty air filter or dirt entering the engine during oil addition. Obviously, uh, by being able to maintain the particulate levels below 2 microns, uh, the bypass oil filter system will eliminate this kind of defect. Next, I want to discuss thermal dehydration. This is a very important part of the oil refiner process. As a matter of fact, it's probably the most important part of the oil refiner process. It eliminates any water and fuel contamination that accumulates in the oil. Uh, basically how it works is uh, the oil is uh, run through a very fine filter which removes any uh, particulate contamination and then it percolates up across a stair-step dispersion plate uh, 
and is exposed to a very hot and dry environment by virtue of a heating element that's in the, uh, the lid of the refiner. Oxidation. Um, this is your engine's principal enemy. Uh, when uh, oxidation takes place, basically what happens is uh, hydrogen uh, atoms change place with uh, oxygen atoms uh, in the hydrocarbon molecule and create aldehydes and hydroperoxides and carboxylic acids. Now this is this is very detrimental to the chemical stability of the oil. Um, oil is uh, is basically made up of uh, hydrogen and carbon, and when uh, oxygen is introduced into it, it, it changes states, uh, creating sludge, uh, creating acid, um, very de uh, increasing viscosity, uh, all detrimental. Uh, effects of water exposure to oil. Now by being able to remove this water uh, we're able to control this chemical reaction by removing the catalyst of the water or actually the oxygen atom in the, the water molecule. Next we're going to look at an example of uh, bearing damage uh, caused as a result of the oxidation of motor oil. As we stated earlier, uh, among other things, oxidation results in the formation of acids. Acids in suspension in the motor oil are exposed to the bearing surfaces, which in turn cause the bearing surfaces to corrode. As you can see from the example, the bearing surface is darkened, it's spongy, and it's etched by the chemical attack. Now this is a preventable condition obviously by uh, removing the water content with the, the thermal dehydrator in the bypass oil filter system. This catalyst of water is, uh, is not available for the uh, motor oil to react with and as such oxidation is controlled and acid formation is also controlled as a direct result. Fuel dilution. Uh, fuel dilution is caused by fuel contamination in motor oil uh, as opposed to oxidation which uh, causes viscosity to increase fuel dilution causes viscosity to decrease uh, high concentrations of fuel thins the oil and reduces its ability to maintain the oil barrier across engine bearings uh, one example of this is called a hot short uh, you can see from the illustration uh, the bearing surface is wiped and torn, it's blackened from heat, and uh, has patches of the lining torn away. It's called a hot short basically because it, this bearing, when the viscosity faded, uh, got very hot and uh, lasted a very short period of time. This is also a preventable condition. Uh, bypass oil filtrations by virtue of the thermal dehydrator removes fuel dilution and uh, maintains the chemical stability and viscosity of the engine oil. So there you have it. How does bypass oil filtration work? Well, uh, it reduces the uh, particulate contamination near motor oil from a level of above 30 microns to below 2 microns with a very fine filter. It removes water contamination and fuel contamination which controls oxidation and fuel dilution. These examples of bearing wear and bearing damage are all preventable uh, by use of uh, bypass oil filtration. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please be looking for more videos in the future.